Hello everyone. Uh, this is Chaitra, working as an assistant professor and a research scholar in Acharya Institute of Graduate Studies, Bengaluru. Today I'm here to give a presentation on successful startups in Karnataka and special reference to Bengaluru. So as we want to know about the startups, as we all are aware that in the year 2015, August 15th, Narendra Modi have launched a scheme about the startups in order to uh, make our India as a developed country and give more employment opportunity for the people who are in our country. So here, if we want to look up the introduction part of a startup, as we all are aware that India is the third largest country with a large number of startups as per today there is 77000 startups in india and i have taken the karnataka as a main content why because when we take a list of these startups the main state which has the highest number of startups is maharashtra and karnataka so here i have opted for karnataka and in karnataka like Bengaluru is a capital and here we have around 8,881 startups as of now and it is also called as a IT club of India and here as per the survey which is done by Indian economic survey 2122 it tells the report tells us that the Bengaluru has been launched with the 4,514 startups successfully and they are presently active and the main objective and the vision of the government to uh, push the startup in a karnataka or as well as in india is to make the first and foremost thing is to make bengaluru states to be the most important it club it hub in india so it have to make bengaluru as a it hub and they have also focused on 20,000 technology-based startups and 6,000 on product manufacturing startups. And here also the government have mentioned that they have to generate the income and the employability for the Karnataka people. And it has been, as per the survey, it has been quoted that around 6 lakh direct and 12 lakh indirect employment will be available for the people of Karnataka. And also it has provided a financial support to the entrepreneurs and they have given an investment of 2000 crores only for the startups. The main motto and the vision of the startup Karnataka or startup India is to develop a particular state or a country in all the sector and to increase the income of individuals. This is the main motto of the Indian government. What is the eligibility criteria for the startup ventures if they want to start a business as per the government? The first one is either the startup, what they are launching it, they have to be technology-based startup or it may be product manufacturing startup. That is the first thing. And uh, second thing is, especially they have to get registered in the Karnataka state itself. That is a thing. If they want to do the uh, startup in Karnataka and they have to avail the facilities in the Karnataka state in the, in the sense, they have to launch their startups in the Karnataka itself. And apart from that, where they have to give 50% of employment opportunity for the Karnataka people. That is must and should they have to follow. Then only they will get the eligibility and the permission to get to start their business in our state. And uh, they have put a condition that 
it should not be merged with the other company or it should not be franchised from the other company or it should not be sponsored by any other private sectors they have to come with the individual plan and they have to follow a certain rules and regulations which has been imposed by the karnataka government and they have to follow that and they have to get the eligibility criteria to get the startup ventures in karnataka and here i have focused on bengaluru which are the successful startups which has been successful in bengaluru the first one is flipkart hacker earth bas big basket zoom car house joy moon frog mintra procto swiggy and common flow so here first let us have a look on the flipkart everyone are aware about the flipkart it is a e-commerce it is a online platform which is available for all the users where they can able to order their required products and they can get it in the proper time so this has been launched in 2007 the founder of this flipkart is sachin bansal and Bini Bansal and the present investment of them is 11 billion and here and the new updated news about Flipkart is the Walmart is invested in Flipkart around 20 billion for their uh, establishment and for their activity so this is a top 10 startup which has been successful in Bengaluru and next Hacker Earths. Here, Hacker Earths is a company where the main uh, nature of this business is where they will, it is a software application which will be used by n number of companies, MNC companies or other companies to recruit the employees where the scrutiny will be done based on this app and they will take a best candidate for the interview which will reduce the time slot for the uh, entrepreneur to select a best candidate for their business the founder of this hacker earths is vivek prakash and it was founded in 2012 and the headquarters is located in usa and the branches has been dispersed all over the globe now the big basket it is also one of the a uh, successful startup here the big basket everyone are fond of it as it is mainly meant for the shopping of groceries and uh, home appliances and here it is the main uh, company which has the highest market share in the state and here the headquarters is in bengaluru the founder of this big basket is sundar kar and here it was founded in 2011 and next come to zoom car as everyone are aware about the zoom car zoom car is a rental car which has been driven for the entire individuals of the country of the state like based on the country and based on the state where they have a rules regulations and all so here uh like based on the criteria they can able to get the car for the rent and they can use it this mainly the self-drive car it is and it has been established in 2013 and the founder of this is david back and george moron is a founder of this zoom car and this service has been spread all over india and next we have a successful uh, startup that is house joy here house joy will act as an agent between the people who are planning to construct a house or related to house it may be maintenance or it may be painting it may be renovation or interior designing everything will be taken care by the house joy where they will provide a service to the required people in the society and it has been founded in 2014 and the main uh, owner of this house joy is sunil goel and arun kumar and the headquarters located in bengaluru 
and now let us go for our own frog it is also one of the successful startup in bengaluru it is a app which is designed for gaming and it is founded in 2013 and its headquarters is located in bengaluru and the founder of this moon frog is tanai tayal so this uh, app is meant only for the gaming and we have uh, other uh, startups which has been launched successfully and they are making a profit that is uh, swiggy uh, procto then common floor common floor as it is uh, it is also an app which is designed for the individuals if they want to purchase a flat house or it may be apartments, they can book, they can see the things and they can review it and they can uh, go and have a direct inspection on the, the flat, what they have booked. And if they are satisfied, then they can go ahead with the negotiation and they can purchase that particular flat or apartments. So through this, I like to uh, thank and conclude my presentation. I like to thank my guide, Dr. Bharati Ma, who is a assistant professor in Sri Andaman College, which is situated in Terchi. So I like to thank for all the participants for listening my video and hope you got the inputs of startups, which has been successfully launched in Bengaluru. Thank you, everyone. Thanks a lot.